Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the topic of completing square for O levels and A levels, same criteria. So we have to convert in this special format. You can see here, it is mentioned on the top. Okay, this is called completing square. Why it's called completing square? Because you can see that it has this power 2. And so how to transform this whole thing into this form? Okay. Similarly, how to transform this into this form? So I'm going to do both questions parallelly. So first of all, have a look. The step number one, we need here plus one. I repeat my words. The coefficient of x square, the coefficient of x square must be, must be plus one. Problem is here we have a three. I need here plus one. And here I have minus two. I need here plus one. So let's see how we can do it. First of all, take common from here, negative two from the first two terms. X square minus four x close bracket plus one same story I'm going to do here so here three common I get three common so I got x square minus 3x and plus one remains outside so this is a step for uh, first step before what is the coefficient here you can see that the coefficient of this is we can see here plus one similarly coefficient is here also plus one so first step is very very clear alhamdulillah so let's continue and now I'm going to uh, do the next process. What is the next process? Very, very important here. I will copy both terms. X squared minus 4, I will copy both. And here, uh, plus 1 value, minus second value, and close bracket and plus 1. Repeat my words. I repeat my words once again. So uh, I need to have a two values here and same. These value must be same in, in the brackets okay now same story here three so first term copy and second term copy and plus I have to put it first term and minus second term with both same and plus one now question in your mind how to get it so let's see how to get it so let's see how to get this number here and okay so half times two four half times two x coefficient and don't take negative sign just take 4 so what is the coefficient 4 so half of the coefficient of x I am putting here after that you simplify what answer comes 2 so what answer comes to that number you take squares yourself so you and one time add and one time subtract and make sure first add and make sure later on subtract this criteria is very very clear same process I'm going to do here half times 2 x coefficient what is x coefficient 3 so this 3 I'm using here now can I simplify them no I can't solve it if I can't solve it then what I can do I can just write it like 3 by 2 comes and now what to do take square yourself like I put a square like this okay and one time add 3 by 2 all square and one time subtract 3 by 2 whole square so I think this is not any any trouble and you are understanding up till now very easily and let's move on the step number two and what number step number two we have I'm going to complete square now and there's a very very important step we have here have a look now what to do to do now here wait a watch okay so let's have a look a very important part do you know if I say that you have to expand the bracket minus 3 by 2? So let's see what happens then. If I expand the bracket, what happens? So you know identity square, first term square, 2 minus 2 times 2, first term times 2, second term, and plus second term square. This square identity we have, okay? I repeat my words, when you expand this bracket, you get this answer okay so I repeat my words how I how get it how I get it so what is the method first term square here comes so second term here comes and after that minus 2 always formula comes and into first term into second term I think this is a formula you understand and when I expand it I get this and when I close it I must get this one it means it is a reverse process so if you look at carefully all three term three terms we have present here you can see 
look at all three terms present here someone asks her now how it possible this is not same the middle term is not same no it is same actually how come if i cancel this 2 2 i get 3x which is a match so it means this is a matching part okay so let's see now how to continue okay so let's see have a look now how to do it so this 3 as it is here i'm putting a bracket okay this x comes here like this this 3 by 2 comes here like this and what is sign here comes here plus so plus minus so minus and this is called completing square you can see that if i close this bracket i get this back and i think you understand this all three things are there now what is this three square give you nine and two square give you four so nine by four i am getting here plus one uh, so i hope so this idea is clear same story i can apply here i have to put a bracket on the top and this minus two square comes here that you know minus four now how to merge these three things okay it's very easy and copy it here so you know way what is method so first of all uh, under power 2 whatever comes here it means x what is under power 2 comes here it means 2 and what this sign is comes here so this is called completing square now this multiplying with that but don't multiply inside only here and with that even so let's see how we can complete minus 2 times 2 x minus 2 whole square and minus 2 into plus minus 4 give you plus 8 but this plus 1 stay as it is because out of bracket if you solve them it becomes 9 so if you leave like this this is your perfect answer this is a final answer this or you can write 9 before minus 2 later no issue at all and this is my final answer this is called completing square if you try to compare with that expression so you can see that uh, this is uh, this is negative 2 because out of bracket whatever we have 2 so this is 2 is same with the a so a is 2 and uh, what the value in the bracket with here minus 2 with the b so b value is minus 2 and this 9 is called c value I think very very clear if someone asks us a b c value we can give the answer a is minus 2 b is also minus 2 and c is 9 so first part is over and let's go for the next one so let's try to complete the second one so 3 times 2 uh, 3 multiply here and 3 multiply with that so it's not a hard job at all and let's see what I get it 3 times 2 x minus 3 by 2 whole square and when 3 comes here multiply of that 3 3 9 is a 3 9 is a 27 so I get 27 by 4 and plus 1 still outside you can solve these two values is a very clear and final we can say that x minus 3 by 2 whole square and it is coming minus 23 by 4 so this is my final answer you can compare this 3 is matching with a and uh, under bracket 2 which is a minus 3 by 2 is called b value and outside including minus sign is called c value so this is my final answer if someone asks you sir how to get the unknown constants so you can say that a is equals to 3 b is equals to but you have to include this minus sign as well don't some students say only 3 by 2 wrong so minus 3 by 2 and c value is minus 23 by 4 that's it and the topic is clear and uh, i just move on next one more example i give you two more examples just wait so have a look here how do complete the square here first question do we have some value here like uh, we have already plus one so first step no need to do at all it means we have already plus one so first step no need to do it okay so first step gone and what second step remember second step is what copy them both and what is x coefficient take it here and now you multiply with the half always don't take negative sign okay so only five comes so this answer five take a square yourself and one time add and one time subtract 
so 5 square one time add and make sure always first add now these three terms merge how to merge from here I got a X okay and from here I got a 5 okay and this is minus sign let's say this plus sign so we have a plus sign then okay and whole square and this is what coming here it is coming minus 25 this is my completing square done okay but assume if question is asking us that no completing square this is solve x square plus 10x is equals to 0 by completing square solve by completing square so how we can do this uh, completing completing square okay how we can do this kind of question so we is the same question you can see that same okay so assume I have a equal to zero I take it equal to zero I take equal to zero now I you know very well simply I have to solve for X how to solve for X this 25 goes on other end it becomes plus 25 now what to do take a square root let me drop this one first take a square root so when I take square root of both side what is criteria you all of you know square root of the both end it will become becomes like this idea so I have to take a square root and take square root of this idea okay and plus and minus compulsory this is a compulsory part I repeat my words must write plus and minus this square root cancels cancels it gives us only and only x plus 5 where here I get a plus and minus and root 25 is a 5 so I got a 5 and now I'll break here I'll get two parts one term x plus 5 is equal to plus 5 and one term x plus 5 equals to minus 5 reason because one time plus and one time minus got it now it 5 goes there 5 minus 5 it becomes 0 alhamdulillah alameen. and similarly with goes there minus 5 and minus 5 I get negative 10 alhamdulillah we got answers I hope so you got the idea so this is a whole idea of the completing square alhamdulillah see you inshallah next time I hope so you like it assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh